thank you so much for the folks who put all that stuff together and for all of you coming out tonight. Just this weekend, I was meeting with a number of transgender activists throughout California, and I met a TSA worker, a transgender woman who TSA would not recognize as a woman in her workplace. A young, beautiful transgender woman who is forced to go to work every day as a man, who is forced to pull her hair back and to provide pat-downs of male passengers who sexually harass her every day. This is only one reason that we need to pass the Employment Non-Discrimination Act now. It's time to let the United States know that all of us need employment protections. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people. For years of us now, for years now, hundreds of us have been working tirelessly, including all of you and activists and organizations throughout the United States, to make sure that ENDA would become a reality. In 2007, as many of you remember, Congress told us at that time we needed to do the work to pass ENDA. And we have been doing that work. We have been building coalitions throughout the country. We have educated countless Americans about the need for employment protections for all LGBT people. We have conducted surveys documenting that 97% of transgender Americans experience employment discrimination and that we are twice as likely to experience poverty and unemployment as a result. We have been doing our work. Between all of the groups represented here today and across the country, acting out and telling Congress we need this bill, we have literally educated thousands of people. We have organized phone banks almost every night for months in a row. We have trained our community members how to educate their elected officials, and we have literally mobilized hundreds of congressional visits in key districts throughout the United States. We have been doing our work we know that Speaker Pelosi shares our values, and I am thrilled to say that she has committed to making sure ENDA passes the House, as well as Don't Ask, Don't Tell, within this congressional year. We know this won't be easy for her. There has been some weird shenanigans by a lot of folks in Congress in recent weeks. We know this is not necessarily an easy sell to say that transgender people and gay and lesbian and bisexual people actually deserve employment rights. We actually deserve to work, but we all deserve to work, and we must work. Congress has said we need to do our work to pass ENDA. Let's finish that work. Let's help the speaker and speak out this week to make sure that every congressperson knows that LGB and T people need and deserve this simple legislation. For those of us outside of California and those in California, we need to call all of our Congress people and tell them to finish the work needed in the House. Let's get this bill passed. But let's not stop there. I want to encourage all of you to call your friends in other states and tell them now we must also do this work in the Senate. Urge Feinstein and Boxer to become champions of ENDA and make sure that other senators throughout the U.S. will make sure that ENDA gets through the House and then through the Senate and signed into law. Let's finish this work this week and in the coming weeks and make an end a reality for all of us. Together, if we stand strong and support our leadership and help them get this to the finish line, this will become the law of the land.